Okay, folks, a couple of weeks ago I promised to showcase how I took full color pictures and transposed them into grayscale pictures. So I'm going to do the best I can. If I pause for half a second or the screen goes wonky, it might be because my cat is demanding some attention. So what I have up here on the screen right now are two PowerPoint slides of the same picture, which is full color. And uh, I'll show you the process that I used on uh, PowerPoint and the tabs to actually make the changes in the full color picture to make it a gray shade. So when I clicked on the picture, you'll see that up here the picture format tab uh, highlighted to pink. And this is on a um, Apple computer. Um, I think the Mac Pro and I'm using Office 365 and this is what I'm seeing on my screen from what you could see here. So um, clicking on the picture I go to the tab that says picture format and because I want to make sure that this picture fills the entire eight and a half by eleven space in this slide and I want to do it proportionately or not uh, that's all up to you I'm going to uncheck the lock aspect ratio right here and then I'm going to change the height to 11 inches and the width to 8.5 and what that does it's going to change the dimension proportionality of the picture a little bit then I'm going to go to the align tab and I want to align it in the center and I want to align it in the middle so this makes this picture uh, cover completely the eight and a half by eleven um, size on the slide itself. Now um, to go to turning it into a grayscale, I go over here to this uh, the tabs over here on the left hand side, and I'll click corrections to make sure that this is as crisp and clear as it possibly can be and you notice that it did crisp up a little bit for sharpness and that was on the corrections tab I'll do that one more time open up the menu there's the sharpen and soften and the brightness and contrast uh, you may actually want to click on a different brightness it's centered now but if you click here you'll notice not much has changed, but a little hair of the black hue uh, elements of the picture has been reduced a little bit. Then I go over here to the color, and you can see that there are color tones that you can pick or choose. And what I have done was actually gone to the color saturation and clicked on 0%. Now watch what happens to this picture right down here and the one on the screen when I click on color saturation. That makes it a black and white picture. And then I'll go to the transparency. And right now, I believe it's probably on this level. I go down three to where it's on 30%. And now it has become a light grayscale picture that still has all the elements of the picture, but it's basically had all the color bleached out of it. And the lines are pretty sharp still. So all the you know, individual uh, uh fence posts and styles and the buildings and everything are still evident and that's basically what I did um, and that was again that was through the transparency and if you think that's too dark you can actually go more to where it's more but I thought the 30 percent was actually the best uh, for me so once I have that done and it has been converted to a grayscale then in order to continue to use this in the future as a uh, coloring book page I'll go up to the file and then I'll do export and then uh, you'll have your typical Microsoft Office you know what do you want to do with it so I'm going to name it barn and fence in January 2016 and then I always put my name in there because a lot of people don't realize but the title or name of the slides that you use the pictures that you use 
could be used for search engine optimization. So I do want that uh, my name in there whenever I do these things. And then I'm going to convert it to a JPEG. And once I click on the JPEG conversion, I want to save every slide because I will actually do this process for 50 to 100 slides in one PowerPoint presentation. And once I convert them all, then I save them all as a JPEG. And then the system will save every slide individually as a single JPEG file. Now it's going to convert it and give it a name of its own, but it will be in the file folder um, that it automatically creates where these export to. So I'm going to click on the export button. And then this window warning pops up. Each slide will be saved as a separate file in this folder. And you'll see that the folder has my name. And I'll click the OK button. And it'll do its little churning through and uh, get everything done. And then if I go to my um, file folders, I'll go to the most recent one and then you'll see here's the folder that it was created in. Here's the two individual slides and then if I click on the slide that I just grayscaled then this will come up in the preview. Now it's titled slide 2 because that's the second page in the PowerPoint presentation but what you may want to do is after these slides get created go back and rename the slide itself so barn and gate and fence put the date or at least the year the month and the year Dawn Boyer PhD and then you've got it renamed so that picture if you share it with anybody later does have your identification as an artist in there. So I hope this explains and helps those of you who are trying to take your own pictures and create grayscales and this is so much less cumbersome and problematic than trying to uh, do a lot of controls and buttons and links and pushes in the um, Photoshop which I am not at all familiar with very much and this seemed to be the easier aspect and solution for what I was trying to do.